zero to be. Learning better is better. Welcome back. Uh, we're watching HTML5 Graphing and Data Visualization Cookbook. My name is Ben Fala. I'm the author of the book. And we're today talking about Chapter 10, the last chapter in the book, which is called Maps in Action. Now, this was a 10, 10, uh, well, 10 video series that walked chapter by chapter through the chapters of the book, explained the theme of the, of the chapter, what did you actually need to get out of it, and also give you maybe a few ideas on exploring and expanding your learning. All right, so let's continue on and talk about what we're going to learn in Chapter 10. This is our Wednesday date, our book date. We have one more video in this book left, which is going to be the appendix. And after that, we'll start a completely new book. All right, so let's start talking about really quickly over the recipes themselves. I'm going to skip through the first three recipes, which together they're going to build an interactive um Literally an interactive Google map that wherever you click on it, it will start a Google up behind the scenes. It will start a Twitter search and it's going to search for the keywords HTML5 in that specific region of the world. It will then return those results back and create a very, very cool, in my eyes, marker, which in that marker, marker, you'll be able to explore and see actually all the different information that's happening inside of it, such as the last recipe, which is going to be about customizing the look of feel of the markers and really making it look great. And we're going to see it in action in just a moment right now in our video. So that's our first mod, first thing that we're going to build, and it's in four recipes. It's, you know, really exploring a lot of the things that we've learned throughout the last nine chapters. Our last one is going to be a really, really cool live final project, which is going to be a live itinerary, a great idea if you're traveling somewhere, you could actually use this as an inspiration to maybe show your friends and family and maybe tweak it a bit and create this really cool interactive map that shows where you went and what you did there and make it really almost like a storyline where you could go back to it and enjoy it. Now, obviously, there's a lot that goes into this fifth recipe. A lot of it is only in the source code, so we're really only going to pinpoint the most important things in that recipe because it's a really big final project. So with that said, let's look at them. Let's look at the what we've created, and let's talk about what could you do next after that. So again, we're going to go to our browser, zerogeek.com, click onto the book section, and search for HTML5 Graphing and Data Visualization Cookbook. And again, the name has changed from, well, for you it was always HTML Graphing, but the name change it actually in the process. So you, you'll you find or HTML graphics or HTML graphing and data visualization cookbook. And in that page, you'll be able to find on the bottom of the page, you'll be able to find your source files. And also we'll probably have there somewhere in the top once we complete finishing our designs, which hopefully by the time you watch this video, we'll have a more up to date design to this page. All right, so let's see it in action. So basically anywhere I press, it should show me a Twitter result of whatever is being searched in that area, but um, seeing that it's not working because it's always coming back as zero. Now, probably there's some sort of error in the code, probably something changed or in the Google API or the Twitter API. Now, because we're doing the Twitter API before the, bef the Google API, before the Twitter API, our best place to try to solve this problem is to first figure out if we're sending the right information. So the best way to do that is I'm just gonna open up my source files and let me just do that really quickly, which these stuff happen, you know, as, as, oh, that's not how you open up a file. All right, so let's, let me first find where we're actually clicking, which is right here, the map gets clicked on, and then we send the information for Twitter to start processing. Before we even do anything, what I really wanna do is I just wanna send to my console just the event itself so I could dig into it and see if the properties X and Y are going the way they should. Now, if they are, then we'll move on to the Twitter API and see if anything changed there. All right, so let's go back into our browser. I'm going to refresh, but I'll also open up my develop window, the error console, and I'm just going to refresh the page again. Now, this time around, when I click, I'm going to get that object. So I'm going to just open up the object and see if it's what I'm expecting. So first, I'm going into the lat long, which is still good. And I'm seeing you're a YA and a ZA. All right. Now, I already see that something's wrong here because it's setting for a Y and a Z, but in our code, we're sending an X and a Y. So our XA is going coming back um, basically null. So now the best way to solve this is because, well, I, I didn't work with directly with the API as part of our strategy of learning how to discover things in, in applications. What I'll do is just I'll just use the actual formula API of lat long, which fortunately for us is all we have to do is call for the lat and call for the long 
And that should solve our problem, I believe, and give us our information without us needing to worry about Google changing their variable names. All right, so if we go back to the application, refresh it again, we could close that info window because I believe that our problems should be solved. If we'll click onto the Czech Republic, that doesn't bring back anything, but let's try maybe Germany. Germany likes to talk about, oh, here we go. So we got a Twitter in Germany, so we know that that works. We could click now maybe into London. Now in London, we'll see we have over 100 results and we could actually pan through the different results and see the different information of people inside of London. No, no one in Ireland is talking about Twitter, but no, about HTML5, but down in the UK, they're still talking about HTML5. All right, so our application is now working, and actually there was an issue there, so hopefully you're following our um, error fixes, and I'll make sure to update the source files as well to reflect that, so the, our source files will have the most up-to-date code, and not that two lines that are there that currently are just not correct anymore. So if you have an earlier version, earlier version of the book, earlier version of the source files, you might need to make that change yourself. If not, that change should be there working and ready. So let's move on to the actual to our next sample. And I'm just going to show that travel section travel, which is a really fun, fun one, which is our last recipe of, of the book. And really the idea of it is it's connected to a Google API. It's actually a Google Excel sheet. And I'm loading in line by line the travel of a friend of mine, Oren that was traveling throughout um, South America from Israel. So we see his travels, he's moving in, 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 he sends me some messages, I write those messages down, and it's kind of like this really cool interactive, well, not really interactive, but really cool kind of journey animation that we're doing with the Google API, using data, exploring the both the Google um, Documentation API, but also the Google Maps API, and really leveraging um, I think a really, really cool, fun example, and that really covers it where where we zoom in, we pan, we create a, a fun kind of interactive experience for our users that are, um, well, it's just an idea, which, now, let's get, let's um, stop that baby and go back into our application, and let's talk now for a second about what you should do next. Now, obviously, fixing that error to, making, to make sure that your application will run smoothly in the first four recipes, but our next, uh, next part will be making, um, Exploring it more deeply, for example, the Twitter API example would be wonderful with a chart. Now imagine you clicking on a specific area and then it would do a search and compare between Flash searches and HTML5 searches instead of it just being HTML5. And then adding some sort of canvas chart from one of the charts that we worked on. If it's a pie chart, if it's a bar chart, just adding a bar chart right onto the screen inside of one of your... Um, markers or right right there on the screen so there's a lot of really cool ideas that you could explore and and go for and uh, with that said i will call this a wrap and i hope you enjoyed it and please come back next wednesday where we'll finish our book with one last last um, appendix and we will also start up a new book so see you next week please subscribe to us we love you so much please subscribe to You'll find the subscribe button on the top left corner. Zero to geek. Learning better is better.